Hey, what's up guys? Vic here with Strikers Reptiles. It is a warm, sunny Saturday afternoon here in Tampa, Florida. Uh, and I'm grateful for that because we have just received word that there is a uh, loose savanna monitor roaming a neighborhood just about 20 minutes south of my house. Uh, I was notified via a reptile forum on Facebook. So uh, myself and a fellow concerned keeper are going to be heading over there and seeing if we can catch this guy and get him off the streets. So I'll keep you updated as that develops. Thanks. What's up guys? So that first clip you guys saw was actually filmed Saturday morning. Now we're here. Um, it's Monday afternoon, about to be rush hour, and a lot has transpired since then. So Saturday, I met up with a friend of mine, Jay. Shout out to Jay. And uh, we end ended up looking around the Seminole Heights neighborhood for the Savannah Monitor for several hours. Um, talked to the guy who saw him, that was David, very helpful. We were just looking around, uh, had no luck. So after a while, we just went to a bunch of neighbors' houses and left our phone numbers, weren't feeling too hopeful. I was really disappointed, you know, just kind of went home and thought about it all night. And then uh, the next day, Sunday afternoon, we had a breakthrough where I received a phone call from one of the few neighbors that we were actually able to leave our numbers with. And they called and they said, hey, remember that big lizard you called about or came to our house about? Uh, it's basking in our yard. So first thing I did, I called Jay. He lives closer to them. And he got over there, he caught it. Um, super quick. And all of a sudden this thing's in our custody. And uh, the first thing I did was start looking for a new home for this guy. Man, he's just, he's an absolutely beautiful animal. It's very sad uh, to see that he's been subject to some uh, not too great of conditions for his care. But uh, let's check him out. Hey guys, so this is Waldo. Um, we have found him. Um, as you can see, he's pretty overweight. Um, we actually think that he has some burn marks over here, um, possibly from having a hot spot that was too hot, like having a singular source. Um, so we're going to be treating that with some betadine. But he's been doing pretty good. He wouldn't drink any water and was pretty lethargic all yesterday. So um, we actually sprayed water on the top of his head until he started lapping it up. And once he did, he started really, really going for it. Um, and he became a little bit more active after that. So he's been getting nice and toasty all night, and he's showing a little bit more signs of alertness. He was really flat um, pretty much all of yesterday. So we're happy that we found him, but we're sad that we don't have an enclosure size for him. So we're going to have to give him to someone that can take better care and have the proper measurements to keep him happy and healthy. So if you look at his arms and legs, um, his joints really aren't swollen. So we think that he probably does not have gout. Um, he may have fatty liver disease already from being overfed, um, but we're not really sure. If you guys have seen Sav our Savannah Monitor Jane, um, she's much leaner, a lot more cut, very active. Um, it's actually hard to hold her like this because she'll just want to run and play around. Um, but this guy is pretty, pretty stagnant. So we're hoping that he will be able to make a full recovery and we're going to be doing some checkup videos on him. So if you guys want to stay in touch with Waldo's journey, please let us know. So guys, as I'm sure most of you are aware, uh, we don't live in West Africa, we live in Central Florida. And this guy was found roaming the streets of a neighborhood about 20 minutes of our, uh, south of our house. And, um, you know, reason would dictate that the re reason he got there was uh, because someone released him. This is a big problem, especially in the state of Florida. We had a lot of people years ago that were releasing um, pet Burmese pythons when they became too big, and now there's, I believe, over two million, uh, estimated over two million Burmese pythons in the state of Florida. It's really horrible. It's why the uh, regulators and lawmakers have come down on the reptile community so hard in the last couple of years. Um, so on top of the cruelty to this animal caused by releasing him to fend for himself, you also have uh, you know, the horrible toll this takes on the reptile community. This is uh, not a win for anybody. The fact that we were able to get him and we're now going to be able to take him to a great home is a win, but um, at the end of the day, this is, uh, this is a sad day for the reptile community. You know, uh, there aren't too many cases of Savannah monitors being released into communities in Florida. I don't believe they can thrive in Central Florida. It's warm and humid here right now, but in the winter it uh, frequently drops into the 50s and 60s, which is just too cold for them. But yeah, it's just, uh, it's a real shame and people need to do research.
research. I'm hoping this video will emphasize the importance of doing research before you get an animal like this. Just because it's $20, it doesn't mean it's a beginner reptile or even a beginner monitor. All right, guys, so now we are in route, taking Waldo to his new home. Um, the day that we started looking for him, I actually started posting in uh, a couple groups I'm in, some animal monitor groups. Um, and the one that was most helpful, it's called Savannah Monitor Group on Facebook. Um, shout out to Jennifer and Jordan, they're the admins in that group. Uh, gave me a lot of helpful advice for finding this guy the right home. Uh, a lot of people did express interest in this guy, especially uh, when I mentioned that there wasn't going to be a fee for him. You know, my priority was not to make money off of this guy. I just want to see him have the best chance possible. So with all those people uh, expressing their interest, I did ask a lot of questions. You know, I wanted to see that people had proper enclosures. I'm not looking to just give him to somebody who's gonna toss him in a fish tank. Um, obviously, he needs some specialized care due to the fact that he's very obese. He might have fatty liver disease, hopefully not, but it's possible. So, you know, we need someone who's got realistic expectations and the ability to care for him properly right away. Not a new owner by any means. So we did have a lot of people and uh, through the question asking, I ended up asking people for pictures of their enclosures. Uh, we had one guy who actually sent pictures, we'll include him in the video, he sent pictures um, that if you Google search uh, Savannah Monitor Enclosure, the seventh picture to come up, it's like an eight year old picture from Pinterest, this guy was sending me. He's like, yeah, I got a Savannah Monitor Enclosure, and yeah, I'll take him to a vet. So, you know, that should be a good, uh, word to the wise about, you know, you need to be aware of who you're giving your animals to when you're rehoming. Just don't, don't just take somebody's word for it. Um, and you know, this guy was talking about, oh, don't worry, I'll give you some gas money. It's going to be great. I'm going to take great care of him. And for all I know, this guy doesn't even have an enclosure for the animal. It's just, uh, it's crazy. The, it's another dark moment for the reptile community, to be honest. This guy was more interested in getting a free Savannah monitor than actually caring for it properly. So I did end up finding this guy with a lot of monitor experience. He's got a huge outdoor enclosure. His name's Travis, so shout out to Travis. That's where we're driving right now. Um, from all I can tell and the people I've talked to about him, he's a very knowledgeable guy. Um, so I'm looking forward to taking Waldo over there for his forever home and uh, you know checking up on him maybe in a few weeks or a couple months. Seeing him have the best chance possible. He's going to get a lot of sunlight. He's going to get plenty of space, exercise. He's not going to get too much food. And, um, and he'll be treated for any ailments that burn. Um, anything like that is going to be taken care of. I, I very much trust that Travis will give him a great home. All right, guys. So this is going to be Waldo's forever home. Um, as you can see, he is already having a really fun time. Um, he's got lots to explore. He has a really nice big sandbox full of dirt for him to burrow in. Um, some tree branches to climb on. A nice pool. Um, tub of water. And he did find a chicken egg. So he is working at that right now. Um, normally we wouldn't want to have them on a consistent diet of chicken eggs. But since he hasn't eaten in a couple days, this is actually a really good time for him to get some nutrients. Um, and a good source of protein. So... We're really glad to see him thriving, and thank you, Travis, for giving him a really lovely home to live in, and we'll be looking forward to checking in on him, and if you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe to our YouTube um, at Strikers Reptiles and our Instagram, Strikers Reptiles, and hopefully we can do some more videos like this. Thanks, guys.